Juliana. I started writing these vows in August, almost a year ago. Shockingly proactive for me, I know. Specifically, I began writing the day I had to take down the string of Christmas lights we put up in my apartment in the shape of a Christmas tree. It took me a while to figure out why this small act that you may have even thought was cheesy meant so much to me. It made me feel loved, it made me feel joyful, and it made me think of you. Over the next year, I'd turn it on when I needed to relax, when life hit lows, whenever I needed it. Over our years together, you have been light in my life. You have made happy times even greater, birthdays, graduations, rooting for the Cougs, and any other celebrations we've shared. And you've been my support through tough times and lightened the load, in school, and work, and all the chaos of these past couple years. We've stood by each other through years of long distance and the other twists and turns life has brought us. At each point we said if we can make it through this, we can make it through anything. Moreover, I would say there is nobody I would rather go through any of this with. From highs to lows, to the normal day to day, whatever that means anymore, there is nothing I treasure so much as the opportunity to share it with you. You are so clever, strong, beautiful, full of life and full of love. And you inspire me every day to be a better man. So today, I vow to give you everything I have to give, to share in your laps and help shoulder your burdens, to learn your family's traditions and teach you mine, to love our future children and give them the best futures we can, to argue as respectfully as I can, to listen and accept criticism humbly, to forgive graciously, through large and small acts of courage and service, to work every day to be the best husband and the best man I can be to bring my best each day to this marriage and this life that we share. And finally, I vow to hang up a tree of Christmas lights each year to remind me of the greatest love and inspiration I have ever known. Hi there. You look beautiful. Thank you. Matthew Jonathan Rothstrom. I wish I could say it was love at first sight, but we both know that was not the case. When we first met, I chewed you out for taking my doormat, and then you lied about taking it and blamed your roommates that you hadn't even met yet. A solid beginning to this relationship. I actually knew I was falling for you before we started dating. My family and I had gone to Phoenix for Christmas, and on Christmas morning, you sent me a text message that said something along the lines of how happy you were that we had become friends, and how you were excited to come back and see us all again. It was a small text, but it made me really happy. So happy, in fact, that Patricia felt the need to ask who had sent me a note because I was smiling so much. I know that you probably sent a few notes like that, and I knew at that time that there was nothing romantic in that message, but it was so sweet and thoughtful that you would reach out. Just when we were still starting to get to know each other, with no games or no agenda. It really made you stand out to me. Now, even though we've been together for over nine years, I fall for you more each day. You are humble, hardworking, smart, and thoughtful. But what has made me love you most is how kind you are. You have the most incredible love and patience. You go out of your way to make those on the outside feel loved and included. You put the happiness and needs of your loved ones before your own. Even when we were deep in the years of long distance, with no end in sight, you were solidly by my side. I admire so much of who you are. Being with you inspires me to be a better person. The last two years have been unpredictable, but they remind me that we make a good team. Because of these last few years, I promise to always make time to cook with you, binge watch your favorite shows, plant gardens, read lots of books, and to breathe de deeper and stretch more. For the last nine plus years and the rest to come, I promise you my everlasting devotion, my loyalty, my respect, and my unconditional love for a lifetime. I promise to be with you through any crisis, to pray with you, to dream with you, and to encourage you. I vow to be a mirror for you and show you the love and kindness you show everybody else. I vow to build a life with you because when I look at you, I see the rest of my life. You are my family and I love you.